Playboy has such a long legacy and connection to art. And we kind of wanted to highlight that here and remind people of everybody that we felt really represented what a modern Playboy artist would be. My name is Fred Guerrero. We're in Chinatown, Los Angeles, and I'm one of the owners of Slow Culture. Slow Culture is this idea of doing things like in a more analog fashion, listening to records and, and living a slower lifestyle just taking the time to appreciate that. People are super psyched on getting back into printing, just something physical. My name is Steve Lee. I'm one of the partners at Slow Culture Gallery in Chinatown, Los Angeles. Playboy is always known for having this really great art component throughout the magazine. So I think when they started working with Jay, they saw him as someone who could really anchor that and be consistent throughout. Jay's pieces are so fun. I think they, for the most part, always like make you smile. So colorful, always like exciting, and in a sense, funny. So he just kills it at that. Jay was our like third show, and for him to put his faith in us was a big deal. And he's continued to do that. Right away, like I knew that was like a kindred spirit type of situation, you know? Ten years back, I would have never thought we would be doing this or I would have been working with this person. So it's rad to think about an entity like Playboy and then like people that we adore as artists and actually putting them together and let them work together as well. Travis Millard, Cleon Peterson, Stacey Rosich, Sandy Kim, Helen Joe, so many cool artists. I've been drawing some kind of dirty stuff, you know, like some fun dirty drawings. I have a piece coming out in the October issue, so I'm kind of uh, excited about that. Travis, it's illustrations and sometimes it actually creates more of a dramatic atmosphere and some things are more playful. Travis Millard is one of the closest people in my life. We just have like a, a very strong relationship. I have a close relationship with all the guys here and I've done shows in the past. I look at Mel as, as like a contemporary folk artist. Mel's work, it's depicted through women, but I think it's something that any of us can relate to. A lot of my pieces have to do with women, their relationship to each other and the support they give or try to give to one another. Playboy being a dimension of supporting artists and like working with people we know, it's kind of a love fest. Ben Venom, so unique. He makes heavy metal quilts. Nate Walton, he's actually shot for Playboy recently. He creates like these really beautiful photos that's like almost super soft light. Reminds me of old Playboy. Tamara Sansibanez, she's a big tattoo artist and she's done a lot of watercolor work, which is really cool. This is like the new generation of artists. There was always some powerful meaning behind every lyric or every song. It said something. It was either politics or poverty or classism. It had a message and I think that